right, lovely people. Let's talk Right Start Maths. So, in the Right Start Maths curriculum, you will choose your level that your children are at. Um, we, there's a long story to why we are still on level A. I will explain it one day. But we are on level A right now with both boys, one more advanced than the other. So you will get the lesson book. Then you will also get the maths card game book. And then you will also get their worksheet book. Okay, so I will show you what it's like inside the level book. So it starts off very basic and it talks about how it was developed. And it was developed by a woman whose child I think had special needs. And so she developed this amazing system. So this is what a lesson looks like. So lesson one, this is lesson one, the very first lesson of what you will learn. So it tells you the objectives of what you'll be learning in the lesson. It tells you what materials you will need to be collecting for that lesson. And then, it, then you teach the lesson to your child. So in this particular one, you are basically teaching the children their numbers and there is a song that goes along with it and you get a CD with a few songs on it that go with your curriculum that they get to learn their numbers and the months of the year and the days of the week etc and then on the right hand side it gives you an explanation of what they are teaching the child to the parent and then it turns over and then you've got again some more activities that you're going to do with the child and again explaining what you do there so that is as simple as it is i think each lesson is a maximum of 15 minutes per lesson then as we move on in the curriculum you get all these different maths card games that you're going to play with your children so each game is labeled like a4 a5 and you just got to read that and learn the game and then teach it to your child so they're learning maths but they're also playing a lot then you'll have all your worksheets that you've got to do and so the children will be doing their various different worksheets now as you can see this is like super simple and i'm going to explain to you why the boys are still on this simple level okay so with our boys they are now 10 and 8 and we were doing the waldorf curriculum with them for about two years um, using the waldorf maths we started off with right start maths and then we found waldorf and so we just did the waldorf maths which was beautiful um, but when we stopped the Waldorf curriculum, I had dropped the Right Start Maths and I did the Waldorf curriculum. And when we stopped the Waldorf curriculum, I wanted to go back to the Right Start Maths. And I didn't feel right about just starting off where we left off. I just wanted to start right at the beginning again and take the boys through it. Now, because they are that much older and they can basically blitz through a lesson because they know a lot of it, I'm just going through the lessons very quickly, figuring out what they know, we're doing it very quickly and we're moving on very quickly so they're going to get to their next level of where they need to be pretty quickly because of how we're moving along and what they understand. So that's the reason why they are on level A at these ages instead of perhaps being a bit further ahead. But that's the beauty of homeschool. You can move as fast or as slow as you like and um, even if you are behind so to speak they do catch up very quickly because they understand the concepts and you do not have to hang around on a concept for very long before you move forward. So that's the explanation um, just so you know. Yeah, so we got 10 gram pieces. We just started using those the other day. These are their place value cards. So those are always very important, of course, learning place value. These are some of the mass card game cards here. We've got their um, ge geometric shapes, geometric solids. We've got some paddle sticks there. Um, they used to use that a lot in the beginning. We've got the abacus 100 cards there, geometry reflector. We've got our little... Um, Oh, tiles there and these again we've got bead cards we've got um, the finger cards and the paddle pop cards they are also used for games and explaining centimeter cubes we've got our fraction chart I love the fraction chart it is amazing this is how a kid will really get fractions it's so visual and they, they have to set it up and build the chart and it just sticks in their mind we also have our um, geo board We've got our um, scales there and our clock 
and then we've also got our abacus which is used in every lesson and it is wonderful so this is what we haven't used yet um although that's the pen what is this okay so that's the level a appendix cards some things we haven't used yet from there we've got a whole part circle set which we usually draw that just straight on our whiteboard we've got the australian coins that we need to cut out but we usually just use the real money um there's also a hands-on geometry set here wow exciting can't wait to use that with them we've got the money card deck fraction card deck and another little card deck there we've got some envelopes with the times tables in it another geo board a calculator the american coins and we've got what is this here let us see uh-huh okay those are the geometry panels and then we've got three different rulers here so we've got a meter stick a normal ruler and then a uh, uh, other kind of ruler which is like a geometry ruler or something I don't know so that's what is left of our right start maths um, curriculum that we are still yet to use as we advance on so it's super exciting I love how it's so hands-on okay so we're going to be doing a day in the life of right start maths now and Jesse we're starting off with Jesse's lesson so Jesse, you are going to need the abacus. You're going to need the dry erase board. I'm going to need you to get the inside the dry erase marker thing is the tissues. You'll need to rub out all that stuff I've got on the board. You're going to need your tiles. You're going to need your worksheets. And you're going to need your won't be doing that perhaps so let's see all right Jesse so can you please sing three ten days has September three ten days has September April June and November all the rest of the fruit are on the calorie but only two tonight February except in the year that's the time February has two ten nine. Well done. Can you tell me the days of the week, please? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Good. Slow down a little bit. And what day is today? Today is Tuesday. And what day was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. And what day is tomorrow? Um, Wednesday. Cool. And what if you didn't look at the calendar? Could you tell me that information? Um, well, well, yes, I could. You think so? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you show me 10 taken three times on your abacus, please? That's 30. Good. And what's another way of saying 30 in a maths um, way? Three ten. Good. Can you show me five taken 10 times, please? Excellent. Or? Or button. Good. Okay, can you please write the equation for doubling 9 on the dry erase board, please? Good boy. Can you please show me the equation for doubling 10? Good boy. What is half of six? Three. What is half of six ten? Half of six ten is three ten. Good. Can you enter two ten on the abacus, please? And count aloud as you enter one bead at a time. Oh, actually, yep. Enter two ten. Sorry, yep. Enter two ten. And then now count aloud as you enter one bead at a time from two ten to five ten. 210, 
3 times 4, 3 times 5, 3 times 6, 3 times 7, 3 times 8, 3 times 9, 4 times 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 4 times 3, 4 times 4, 4 times 5, 4 times 6, 4 times 7, 4 times 8, 4 times 9, 5 times. Excellent. Okay. So you can move your abacus off now. Okay. And now I want you to count all these tiles and I... Sorry. I want you to count these tiles and I want you to say the number as you touch each tile and move it away from the rest of the tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Good, but you should have been saying the maths names, but okay. Oh, okay, I'll do it again. No, it's okay. Um, how many tiles are there? 21. Excellent. Or I may have made a mistake. I've, I'm pretty sure it's 22. Okay, we'll try it again using the maths names. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One ten. One ten one. One ten two. One ten three. One ten four. One ten five. One ten six. One ten seven. One ten eight. One ten nine. Two ten. Two ten one. Very good. All right. You can just move those off to the side, and I want you to draw a whole part circle set, please. Good. Thank you, excellent. Okay, what I want you to do is write 10 in the hole, write 3 in the part, and find the other part for me, please. Okay, good. Rub out those parts, please. I want you to write four in the part and do the other hole. See if you can do that in your head real quick. See, that's the wrong way. Okay, so Jesse, I'm going to rub out those um, parts and hole, and I'm going to give you the following problem, and you're going to work it out using your whole part circle set, okay? So, Darcy and Sol have 10 teddy bears between them. How many bears could each of them have? Excellent, that's good. Okay, so, so you do another solution of what Sol and Darcy... Oh, sorry, so I've got to use this. Sorry, Sol, Darcy... Okay, so you did five, and I want you to do another solution, please. Okay, and then I want you to write them in their respective places, and I want you to keep on finding solutions until you've exhausted all the possibilities of Teddy combinations. I have done more. There is one more, which you haven't done yet. So you know how I would do it? Yeah. I would put all 10 across. Can I see your abacus, please? I would put all 10 across like this, and then I would go, oh, have I done that? 9 plus 1. Have I done that? Eight, and how, how else would you carry on that? Mm. Yeah? And yes. how else would you carry on? I've done that one. Have you? Have I? I have got no six. No, I have not done. Yes, that's it. That's You've done your story? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need to get your maths book and sit down and start doing maths over there. Mm -hmm. Give us the abacus. Give us that book as well. Thanks. Mm. Yeah, good. Okay. Turn them to a six ten. Have you been writing them down here? Have mm -hmm. you been writing them down okay. up here? And four. And what else? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that all the combinations now? Mm -hmm. That is all the combinations. Good. Okay, excellent. All right, Jesse. How many 
Combi how many answers did you get? How many possible Nine. combinations did you find? Nine. Oh, there's one missing. Okay. One is left. Hmm. Ten and mm -hmm. zero. Good, exactly. Very Four. good. Four. So, yes. Okay. Okay, so if you were to count all these answers. Ten. Good, Jesse. Very excellent. Well done. That's great. And did, did you find that interesting? Mm hmm. Very good. And okay. I found it like very stressful to be watching by a camera. Oh, don't you, don't you worry. Everything. You don't need to be stressed. So now the other thing you need to do, which I think you might have done it yesterday already, um, Jesse was meant to do this worksheet. But we did both of them yesterday, so he's done that. Otherwise, he would have been sitting and doing that now. And then we are going to play Go to the Dump. Oh, I'd love to play that on my real one. Okay, so we now need to go to the Maths Card Game book. We need to find A3, and we need to play that game with Jesse. So, Jesse, you are going to need... Where is A3? A3, A3, A45, A3. Okay, this is what we are going to need. Six of each basic number card from one to nine. So, let's get the basic number cards. We need six sets from one to nine. So we're going to have to work this out. So, let's see if they're in here. So, we need six sets from 1 to 9. So put these in order from 1, 2, 3, 4 to 9. Okay, Jesse. So, Jesse, this game is similar to Go Fish, but here the pairs must equal to 10. Okay? The objective is to provide repetition so you can learn the facts that equal 10, all right? Okay. You can use your abacus if you want to, so you can have that in front of you. Wait. Okay. Where did you say go to the dump? We'll tell you soon. And it's just you and me playing. And the objective is to collect the most cards through pairing. Okay? So each of us will take five cards with the remaining cards placed in a stack face down in the center, which forms the dump. So one, two, three. And you don't show me your cards, okay? All right, we'll put this in the center. Yes, it has to play go to the dump. Okay, and so now, <laughs> so you have to look over your hand, so look over what you've got in your hand, okay, and you have to see which cards total to 10. I've got a card that totals to 10. Okay. Um, can I show you to you now? Just hang on, so you need to look at that, what does it need to make 10, look for that number among the other cards. Any pairs found? Okay, so this your pairs must be placed face up in front of you. So here, this is my pair, look. Yep. So, it's, so yep. do I place them on so the pile? No, like one stack, so here? one on that side and one on that side. Yep, good. Okay, so do you have any other pairs? Mm. Mother finished. Just one, yeah, you can go and look at it. No, yeah. no more pairs. Okay, so any pairs found or placed on? The first player asks the player, so you need to ask me if, you, if I have any okay. numbers you need that will make a pair for you. Do you have a free? I do. There you go. Now where do I put? Now I you put do it in the pairs again. The yeah. yeah. Okay. And if you if you need another one because you got that okay. right, you ask me do, again. Do you have a four? Go to the dump. So I put my so card on here. No, you keep your cards in your hand, and now you need to pick up a card from the dump, and then now it's my turn to ask and to make pairs. Okay. So now I need to make pairs. So I have got. A seven. I know this one. You got a seven and you got another three. And I got a three, yes. That's the classic. Do you have a two? Go to the dump. Mm, and so I need to go to the dump and I need to pick up. Okay. Okay. Do so you, it's your turn. Do you have a four? Go to the dump. Okay. Do you have a f uh, nine? Go to the dump. 
Do you have a free? Go to the dump. Wait, can you add up numbers? Like, like just two numbers. Okay, so you can only add up two numbers. Yep. Do you have a two? Go to the dump. Any any left? I got a pin. Okay, now. Okay. So now we count. So to I see who's got the most pairs. So just count one. Yeah, count all the pairs. I got eleven. Eleven pairs. Yes. I got sixteen. Are you sure you got eleven? What are these? Ah, uh, these are like I went. I got yes, I got eleven. You oh, won. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So <laughs> now we. <laughs> we're only slow mo bad, so I have to see. Yeah. Okay, Jesse. This is the last bit of your maths now. What number comes after five? Uh, um, six. What is five plus one? Five plus one is five plus one is six. Do you see a pattern? Yes. What is the pattern? You, if you add a one onto five, it comes six, and five six. Well done, Jesse. Okay, so now we're going to be doing Jordan's lesson. Jordan is doing things that are quite a bit easier than his age range, but it's because we started this curriculum over from the start. I wanted to make sure that he has everything, all his ducks in a row, and I didn't want to miss anything out. So we're flying through, but that's why some of this may sound easier than what it should be for Jordan. So Jordan, you're going to need your abacus. going to need worksheet 10 and we're going to need our maths card for the maths card game and we're going to need the maths card game book which is fine I've got it here thanks Jordan sit down okay so how many sides does a quadrilateral have four can you please show me parallel and perpendicular lines with your arms Thank you, very good. Can you count from 100 to 120 using both ways of number naming? 100 to, oh sorry, 100, 100, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 910, 911, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120. 10, that was tricky. <coughs> How many digits do you need to write two? One. How many digits do you need to write 101? Three. How many digits do you need to write 11? Two. 111? Three. Good boy. How many ones in 10? 10. How many tens in 100? 10. How many hundreds in 1,000? 10. How much is 34 plus 10? 40. Oh, sorry, 44. Okay. How much is 46 plus 10? 56. How much is 17 plus 10? 27. <clears throat> How much is 31 plus 10? 41. Okay, we're going to play the comes... We're going to play the comes after game. Say three numbers. I'm going to say three numbers, sorry, and I'm going to ask you what comes <laughs> you next. You just told me to say three numbers. I know. 54, 55, 56? 57, 58, Okay. 59. Good boy. What number comes after 25, 26, 27? 29. And what number comes after 79, 80, 81? 79, 80, 81, 89, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. Good. Okay, so we just had to go pick up the baby. Jordan wants me to show you. Ta-da! Look at the camera. Look at the camera, Jay. All right. Now, we're going to continue. So, Jordan... We're going to be doing the 2-5 strategy preparation. On your abacus, enter 1 on the first wire and 3 on the second wire. Mm. <coughs> okay. How much is 1 plus 3? <coughs> this is so Four. basic, Jordan. So basic. Okay. We need to repeat it for 3 and 2. Mm. two that's 5. And 2 and 4. Oh, sorry. 2 and 4. Not four. Two. And 4 and 3. 
seven. Four and four. Eight. One and two. Three. This is what I mean when I say this is just too basic for Jordan, but we're going to fly through anyway because I want to make sure that I'm not leaving any gaps. So, enter six on the top wire and eight on the second wire. <coughs> Okay, look for a way to find the sum of 6 and 8. Let me show you an easy way to do this. So the blue ones are 5, so that's 5 plus 5 equals 10. And then this is 4, so 14. That's exactly. just a way to help you. Exactly. You that and that's the way that you need to do it. You need to find groups of 5 with the dark colored beads because that is going to help you super ties much easier. Okay, so there were how many dark colored beads? 10. And how many light colored beads? Four. So six plus eight is? Fourteen. Or? One, ten, four. Excellent. Okay, can you please please try and do the same with eight and seven? Eight and six. And then explain the method again. So this blue one's ten. Five plus five equals ten. And then... 2 plus 2 equals 4, plus 1 equals 5, so it's 15. Mm -hmm. 7 and 9? 7 and 9 is the same. You just go to these. Again, what you would what you would end up with is 16. Okay, excellent. To show you that even if you use take and give, you'd get to there with just one take and one give. Okay, very good, Jordan. Now, Jordan, I want you to do worksheet 10, please. Okay. This is it? Yep, Both worksheet 10. Yes, thank okay. you. Try and think of what you did on the abacus. You can either use it or do it in your head the same way. Finding your fives, making it easier for yourself. Let me just show you how to use the abacus. So here it says 6 plus 8. So then I'd put a six. They say that you are to use your abacus, yes. And, then and it's eight. only this one. Only this one, okay? Yeah, and you'd use a six and an eight, and then you go five plus five equals ten, and that's fourteen. That's just to help you if you want to mm -hmm. use it. Good. So you keep doing that, using your abacus and doing that. I'll be back. Okay, and they say I have to use my abacus, so it's just going to be more demonstration. Nine. Ten plus four equals fourteen plus two equals sixteen. Th that's explaining for you. <coughs> no more explaining. Good boy. Okay, Jordan. Excellent. So let's just um, bring that closer. Jordan has completed his worksheet and he knows what's going on. So the next thing we're gonna do is we are also gonna be playing Go to the Dump with <coughs> Jordan, except this time it is a more advanced version of Go to the Dump. So and it is now using, you need your basic number cards, Jordan, and you need basic. to, listen to me, Jordy, you need to use the basic deck of cards, but only the numbers from five to 10. So you need five to 10, and you need six of each. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. Ouch! So Jordan is now going to sort that out. Okay, we're going to pop these all together now and we're going to give them a good shuffle and then we're going to play Go to the Dump like we did to Jesse, but it was in advanced mode, which is adding to 15 instead of 10. So okay. we're adding to 15 now? Yes, we are. Okay, so what every person gets five. I don't see how this is gonna work. Why? How are we gonna add to ten without ones? You mean fifteen? Oh, we're going to fifteen. Sorry, yes. That's why. Okay. Okay. And are you gonna ask me if I have anything? Oh, oh. Do you have a five? No, go to the dump. Do you have a six? We're filming. Do you have a six? 
Uh, I don't want to give you my six. Da, da. Do you have a five? Go to the dump. Is it my turn? No. Oh, um, <laughs> do you have a six? Thank you. Do you? Hang on, it's my turn. <laughs> Try to trick you. Do you have a six? Go to the dump. Do you have a five? We win. Okay, I win. so now what we do, we give you another five. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Ooh. All right, let me see which one I'm going to do today. Right, let me just do Can this. you sit down? I'm sure the people would like to see your face and not ding, just your body. Ding, 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 do you have a 10? Go to the dump. Do you have a six? My turn. One, two, three, four, five. You have to do a victory Thank dance. You. Jesse, can you go to Jackson's door and just, I thought I might have heard him sleepy. You, you have to do a victory dance, mum. Okay. Yay! Do you? Well, isn't it my turn? Because oh, I just. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. All right. Um. So, oh, you're good at this, John. <sighs> that was not me. Do I guess you? Okay. I'm very slow with this, aren't I? Do you have a five? Oh, yes. Dang. You have to do another victory dance. Okay, but mm. I'm not finished though. But, uh, oh, oh yeah, I have to do a. Do you have a nine? Um, do you have a nine? <laughs> hey, <laughs> go to the dump. Ha! Yeah. Um, do you have a five? Go to the dump. <gasps> Wait a minute. Now I can do it. Do you have a ten? Do you have an eight? Go to the dump. Do you? Isn't it my turn? You went to the dump. Oh, yeah. Do you have a nine? <laughs> Victory dance. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Do you? It's my turn, isn't it? On this one. Oh. Do you have a seven? Yeah. I I have a seven myself, oh. and now I have that seven. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you love maths so much. Um, so, Jordan, can you please name what you need to make 15? 10 and? 5. 6 and? 9. 8 and? 7. 5 and? 10. 9. 9 and? Sorry, 9 and? 9 and 6. 7 and? Eight. Excellent. So, I just, wait, wait, wait. Before I go, I want to show them my space puzzle. Oh, hang on a minute. So, as you can see, maths is super fun with Right Side Maths. Jordan and Jesse love it. Jesse says maths is his favorite subject. Jordan loves it so much he wants to play Go to the Dump till the cows come home, which I am not willing to do because the day is getting old so getting Jordan, old <laughs> yes yeah, so the day is getting old it's not a young it's not a young day anymore it's getting old and i'm looking at the wrong spot on my camera but yeah it's it's getting late in the day we started late because everyone woke up late and so i am now ready to um get done so jordan just wants to show you he did a puzzle i'm sorry for the noise in the background we have Everyone's just waking up, so we got people around. And here is the puzzle that Jordan and Jesse and I did this morning. So what is it? Two hundred piece? Two hundred 
Yeah. Yep, and off space. And then I can flip it around to my and side. And it was shoot. great fun. We've got so many puzzles in the shed. I think we should do a puzzle a day. Yeah. A puzzle a, puzzle a day keeps the doctor, doctor away. Whoop, whoop. Thanks, boys.